Yeah, we from the north, baby, the cold made me I know you can't get enough of me, been up lately Took you down inside my old Honda, you upgraded Won't leave my ass alone, but I can't give you love, baby It's just for the night, I won't see you tomorrow Me and gang been sipping something strong for these sorrows I work as long as it takes, I won't borrow My last to made me a mess and left me hollow So now my heart's in my body bag I'm in the mood to go and hurt somebody, yeah Baby, you know I'm only the one Then tell you move along I don't wanna stay too long Cause I'm way too far Yo, oh, what's going on with your YouTube gentlemen? Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Air Jordan 4 collaboration with the Alma Meniere. Woo! First of all, this is probably one of the hyped up releases so far this year. Some people even say this is the sneaker of the year. We can debate about that. But to me, my opinion, is this the shoe of the year? No. Is it top three? Maybe. It's probably gonna be my top five, just because of the name Alma Meniere. The Alma Meniere, the, the collaboration they've been doing with Nike has definitely been pretty good. Uh, they came out with the threes, the twos, the ones, and now the four. Now the one thing always everyone always expecting and hyped in about this shoe was the quality of the Alma Meniere fours. And the one thing I'll say is, it's okay. It's okay, it's not the best. It's fine, it's good, but it's definitely not the best. Not as, as good as everyone was hyping up to be. And also the craftsmanship on the shoe here is not that great to be honest. I'll keep it 100, I'm not gonna be biased because I, on my pair it has a little bit of glue stain on the midsole here as you guys can see. You know, some maybe some paint chippage all around the midsole. I am being very nitpicky. But then again, these things did retail for $225 plus tax and shipping. To me, this thing, it cost me about $250 retail to my door. Now, I know a lot of people say, hey, you know, you should be thankful at least you got a W, which I am. I'm very thankful that I got a W, so I don't mind it. But for the hype of her being in the name Alma Meniere, I expect it to be the best. Is it good? Yes, it's very, very good. It's a very nice looking shoe. At some points, I think a lot of people were disappointed when they leaked out first images of the shoe here because it was basically all purple. And we did have a mock-up picture with what it might have looked like. And I think a lot of people prefer that. But I always tell you guys, don't go off the mock-up pictures, man. It's, it always disappoints. Uh, a lot of people like the mock-up pictures better. In my opinion, I'm okay with this colorway. You know, for it to be all purple, for them to go a different route, I don't mind it. I think it looks great. Name Alma Meniere and it being an Air Jordan 4, probably the hypest silhouette to today. I would expect this thing to be very, very good quality and, you know, best craftsmanship and just all around just great shoe. But when I first opened it and I first had my hand, I was just kind of taken back and I was just kind of like, yeah, it's cool. Maybe my standards and my hype was just expecting a little too high for it to be for what it is, you know? It's fine, it's a great looking shoe. I'm glad to have it in my collection. It's probably gonna be in the top 10 releases of this year, but I was expecting it to be the best. I was expecting it to be the, you know, sneaker of the year, top quality, the name Alma Meniere. Again, I don't want you guys flaming the comments. That doesn't mean this is a bad shoe by any means. Not at all. It's still a great looking shoe. And this is probably a shoe that a lot of people will like to have. But is it a little overrated? Maybe, it depends on what your perspective is. It's still a great shoe, don't get me wrong. Now with the other Alma Meniere color uh, silhouette, we have one, two, three, and now we have four. The first release of the threes was a masterpiece. Still one of my favorite shoes, and it's actually probably my favorite Alma Meniere collab with Nike. I'm gonna have to say four might be my second one, just because the first one is still a great shoe nonetheless. 
not really feeling the all crack leather throughout the entire shoe. That's the only problem I have with it. And you know, two is still a great shoe, but you know, but I love what Alma Meniere's have been doing with their collab with Nike and Jordan. I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Hopefully we see a five and a six continue on. I think Alma Meniere has become the new hype and collaboration brand that Nike has been working with. You know, we had their off-whites, they had their union. I think Alma Meniere has been now taken over as their top one. We can talk about the release, how this went. I think the uh, fours was probably the most produced out of all the other silhouettes, like the twos and the threes. A lot of sneaker boutiques got these things. On sneaker apps alone was about 60,000 pairs. I saw a lot of Ws on the Alma Meniere site. I was actually very fortunate to get a W on the site, so I was very happy about that. And I saw a lot of people to get Ws too as well. That's one thing I want to give Alma Meniere big praises about because I feel like they always give manual users a fighting chance and a lot of manual users usually do hit on their sites i know a lot of bots does too but they usually try to fix it you know they cancel orders and they try to have some type of bot protection but at least manual users users do have a good chance go ahead let's get into this review real quick huh first we'll talk about the boxes almamir always comes with the box cover like this which i do like nice presentation this is purplish brownish color same as the shoe which i dig got the little cement prints on the side the alma Meniere branding of course they got the jump man the flight inside the box you guys see it on Meniere inside and if you guys can see you can see this jordan right here i think this is the image of when jordan celebrated when he hit the last second shot uh against the Cavs. Here it is with the shoe. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And like I said, man, they nice. They are really nice. One thing about Alma Meniere when they do collabs with Jordan is always quality, 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 quality. And the one thing I wanna say is this new buck throughout the entire shoe is nice and buttery and soft. And it's throughout the entire shoe on the upper and that's about as good as it's gonna get. And like I said, the craftsmanship around the midsole is not the best. It's, uh, like I said, I'm being a little nitpicky, but that's just, if you guys can see, a little bit of glue stain on the midsole. You guys can see it, if you guys, if I can show it on the camera. And I like the midsole here, it's like that nice vintage look, creamy uh, outs midsole, clear air bubble. Got the rubber netting, rubber netting on the side, metal stud on the side here, and it has the, got the Alma Meniere logo on the A logo. Nike Air on the back on the pull tab. Back of the pull tab on the right shoe it says, is one of Jordan's quotes, it's not about the shoes. On the left shoe it says, it's all about where you're going, signature of Michael Jordan. The same brownish, flat rope laces color. One thing I know is about on the sock liner, it has like a little unfinished look to it. It just kind of cut off, which is a little different design how they did it on the fours. Inside the uh, sock liner here, it has that quilted silk-like material inside, which is kind of like on all Alma Meniere uh, air collabs. And the insole here is that pretty thick padded quilted silk-like material on the insole. And you have to see you get that Alma Meniere tag on the insole right here. Fortunately, it doesn't come with the extra set of laces. It's only just come with one set of laces, which is unfortunate. I think it would look really great with a set of like, you know, if you can swap the laces out with like some cream laces or some off-white laces to kind of match with the midsole. I think that would look really nice. But it does come with this really huge hang tag here, the Alma Meniere hang tag with the jump man on the bottoms there. On top of the tongue here, uh, the right shoe has the Jumpman Flight tag, if you guys can see that. And then on the left shoe, it has the Flight, but it has the A, the Alma Meniere logo. And on the outsoles, as you can see, you got that little bit of that off-white outsole, the stars on the, on the top of the toe, and then the embroidered uh, Nike. Now make sure you guys get on that Drip Grip, protect the soles, guys, from getting all nasty and dirty. Make sure you guys get on that Drip Grip, Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. It is the best sole protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, multiple wears. I've worn these at a sneaker event all day and it's still goods to go. So multiple wears. Make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. All right, guys. There you guys have it. These are the Air Jordan 4 collab with the Almond Meniere. It's This is probably one of the best releases. It's not the best Almond Meniere collab in my opinion. I still love the threes, that's probably still my favorite. This is probably up there as second one. 
Again, this is a great looking shoe. Still easy fit to kind of throw on with, especially now it's fall season right now and winter coming up. Now a lot of people's gonna think that with the whole padding of the quilted materials inside, would do you need to go a half size up? I still feel like it's about true to size. Whatever your regular Air Jordan 4 sizing is, it fits about the same as all my other Air Jordan 4s. So I'm usually about a nine and a half. This is a nine and a half. Feels just fine. Fits just like any regular Air Jordan 4. Now this shoe here was a very hyped up release, guys. One of the most anticipated uh, releases of this year. We had crazy back-to-back -back releases. Obviously we had the Lost and Founds and literally a week or a couple of days later, we had the Alma Meunier release. But I said, has a name Alma Meunier, Air Jordan 1 4 Silhouette. These things are probably gonna do some pretty good numbers. Guys, I just wanna say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Hey anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Push. Pew.